Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you our new Liz rig that we've made exclusively for Unreal Engine 5, which means that we can go ahead and animate directly inside the engine. We don't have to animate in Maya, export the joints to Unreal, export the animation. Everything can be done directly inside the game engine, which is pretty cool. So I'm not going to go over the whole interface. There's a lot of stuff to go over. I'm just going to show off the basic features in the rig and some of the cool things that are exclusive just to Unreal Engine. All right, so let's get to it. First thing you'll notice is that we have the main world controls and offsets. And then if we go into the leg, we have an IK leg setup. Look at that. With these controls here, we can offset different parts of the foot, the hock. And then we can also select these pivot controls and be able to pivot from different parts of the foot. And then FK toes as per usual. And then something that's cool about Unreal Engine rigs is because they're compiled, we can do stuff that we wouldn't normally be able to do in Maya without tools. So for example, we can go ahead and we can match the IK to FK and vice versa. So if we collect this, if we click the settings control and we go to this attribute down here, leg IK FK switch, if we click this, it's going to snap the leg directly to FK. We're not going to have to grab controls and try and place it one to one by eye. It's all automatic. And then if we go ahead and adjust this, and go and snap it. It's going to snap back to IK seamlessly. How cool is that? Pretty cool if you ask me. Okay, so if we go to this side, we can look at the pole vector control. Pretty standard. It's not going to move when we move the leg by default, but if we click on it and go to the attribute down here, pole space local. If we click that, now it's going to follow along with whatever the leg's doing. Going up, we have hip controls. Going up, we have hip controls. We have the main COG controls with an offset as well. And before I go up to the spine, we have the tail. Pretty classic FK setup. But then on top of the FK, we also have these little IK controls to offset as well. And you'll find on the main tail control, we have an attribute down here called tail space local. And if we turn that off, now when we move the hips or the spine, it's gonna stay in place compared to if we have it toggled on it's going to follow directly with what the spine's doing. Okay, so if we go back to here, like I said, we have the FK spine. But we can toggle that using the settings control here to IK. And then we have three control system. Each of these controls can rotate individually. And that is that. Moving up, we have Actually, you can see when I rotate this top IK control now for the spine that the arms are staying parallel. So if we select them, we can see there's an attribute down here called arm FK space local. If we turn that on, now the arm is going to follow along with whatever the rotation of the spine is. So I turn that back off for now. And then you can see we have a pretty standard setup for the FK arm. Elbow control here, wrist control. And then like the legs, what we can do is we can also match these bad boys. So I like this pose by the way. So what we do is we just select the settings control and down here, IKFK switch, turn that on. And now we can animate in IK. How cool is that? And you can swap back to FK. Amazing.
Then we have the same thing for the pole vector for the arm. We have local space and world space. And if we go up now to, you can use these arrows here to reset your controls. If we go up to the neck here, we can see we have standard FK neck. The head will follow along with the world unless we click on the control and we turn on space local. So that's an option there. Moving up a bit, we have blink controls. And we have a jaw control. And inside you can see we have like the tongue and you can rotate the tongue in here. And then finally we have an aim control, which will just aim the eyes and then you can offset them as well. So yeah, in a nutshell, that is the Liz rig for Unreal Engine. Feel free to check it out. I'm going to supply a link in the description and I hope you guys enjoy it. Happy animating and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.